These sheep in the Tianaway Valley live beside dogs, big dogs, dogs that are here to protect the livestock from wolves, and it can be a dangerous job. She got in between two wolves. Um, they tried to play tug of war with her, and um, luckily the, the herder was close enough by the vicinity that he was able to break it up. Mark Martinez is talking about one of his border collies who survived. He's lost four sheep to wolves. They roam near the Tianaway Pack near Cleelum. His brother sits on the Wolf Advisory Group, a variety of stakeholders who determine together when the state should be allowed to kill wolves that attack livestock. But that work is now challenged by a lawsuit which may stop the state altogether. Our argument that the state has violated the State Environmental Policy Act and the Administrative Procedures Act is still going to get its day in court. We just hope that between now and then there aren't more of Washington's state endangered wolves that get senselessly killed. Amber Oak Weiss is the wolf lead with the group suing the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife. It's a move that hasn't been uniformly popular, with Conservation Northwest releasing a statement that lawsuits and polarization haven't worked out well for wolves elsewhere. Instead of polarization, our focus is on collaboration and long-term coexistence. But the Center for Biological Diversity says the state is ignoring science and its own wolf recovery plan. Somebody else is stepping in and suing and saying you can't do that. That just makes your trust level either go completely away or be diminished a lot. Sam Kaiser picked up this calf recently and his mom after a wolf nearly killed him. Oh, it's luckier than hell. It's lucky first that it mother or other ones showed up bellering and chased the wolf off uh, or it would be, you know, he'd be dead, but he was lucky the range rider found him. Kaiser says he wants to work with wolf recovery, yeah. not against it, but he's skeptical the process is working. There was give and take on both sides and to have uh, an outside group that's not involved in the, in the advisory group, it makes it makes you think real hard if if it's even all the time and effort that the, the livestock producers sweat equity to put into that group is even worth it after after seeing this transpire. Both ranchers believe livestock can work with the ecosystem just like wolves managing grasslands that can become fuel for wildfires. I'm hoping 10 years from now uh, that we can still have wolves out there but they're at a manageable number. Near Cleelum, I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News.